Hello and welcome to another episode of Pop Culture Acts, and we are back in the listener list. And we are back in Japan with the 1999 classic, for me at least, because uh, I remember getting this album when it came out, The Mad Capsule Markets and Pulse. Were we um, in our Y2K uh, panic mode when this came out? Well, most people would have been thinking that you know the end times was going to come and computers would stop and everything would would cease to exist. Um, me, I was a bit more worried that you know my champ save wouldn't work. See, I was on the other end of this. I was, I was, uh, I knew it wasn't going to happen, but I was uh, hoping that it did because I had loaded credit card debt at the time and I was hoping that'd be wiped <laughs> out. <laughs> I thought this could be a great life moment for me, you know. Like, I, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I didn't really want planes to fall from the sky and all the other stuff people were saying was happening. But I was thinking, what a great way to pay off your debts instantaneously. <laughs> and uh, watch that credit card debt go bye bye. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, and I had to do it the old-fashioned way by bloody paying it. Damn it! Didn't enjoy that. No. Um. So. Obviously, you have had a slight bit of uh, knowledge with the Mad Capital Markets when we did AA Equals, yes. um, because the bassist of Mad Capital Markets went on to do AA Equals. Um, Seems to be very much a thing, picking it up um, from a lot in our comments for things like the Love Bites videos and the Band Made videos, this kind of um, uh, band members transitioning into other bands, um, creating their own bands. Um, it I mean, I'm hoping that it's never really done off of animosity. I'm hoping it's just kind of done off of uh, creative desire. But uh, mm. but yeah, it, it seems to be breeding and uh, and, and birthing uh, many more bands. So I'll take it, whichever way it's yes. going. Um, so are you ready to pulse? Yes, I am. Right, uh, let's go. Shut up! 
So, Mr. Seddon, where were the PlayStation games that looked that good in 1999? I see, I was going the other way and going, that looked like all those really bullshit shit games that uh, they were releasing in 1999. I think that, I think graphically that's that's superior to what games were at. I think it was about three years later when once you get the PS2, you got graphics that good. I don't know that that looked. Uh, um... Maybe our maybe our eye on uh, what is graphically uh, good and not is, is is slightly different. Yeah, that looks like a, a, a one of those grotesque knockoff. Uh, doesn't look a million miles away from Goldeneye to me, but just in spacesuits instead. <laughs> um, to be fair, that was the soundtrack to many of a Goldeneye uh, session with me and the boys from school. Um, um, slaps only, I presume. Yeah, no of guns course. allowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slaps only one hit kill. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, and, and no one's allowed to be odd job. It, the, the, the visual style of it though does invoke the period of the time, doesn't it? Like, regardless yeah. of where, like, graphically it was, it, it does feel like um, where uh, gaming pop culture sort of things were leaning to, wasn't it? You know, like um, uh, I, I would say, you, yeah, you're somewhat generic looking um, spaceman fighting your somewhat generic looking space villains, and then. Um, like the kind of, um, and I know it's not because it's copyright, but that kind of metallic Bowser mobile almost at the end, mm. like as they, <laughs> they drive off in it. Yeah, it, it is, it, it is, it invokes a lot of feelings of the time, I guess. Yes. Um, but what did you think of the song? Um, don't know. Which is obviously a very good thing for somewhere <laughs> where you react and uh, review songs. Um, I think there were bits of it I liked. There were bits of it that I didn't like. Um, and I, I kind of walk away from it probably remembering the bits I don't like more than the bits I did like. Um, but not without some charm to it. I, I, I don't, it's not like, oh, I don't go, oh, that's horrendous. What a write yeah. off. But um, yeah, I don't think it's for me, is probably how I describe it. See, I for me this was perfect for especially at the time because I was obviously into new metal, into trance, and things like Prodigy as well. So sort of dirty, heavy dance music, and it was just like the two combined in a in a weird sort of Asian style, and I I loved this. This, See, this I don't I don't, I don't feel like that was there for this song. I think other than the first three and a half seconds when i thought oh yeah this is going to be a bit kind of prodigy-esque they just did like a bit for about three and a half seconds and just threw that in the bin and moved on and then it for me it was kind of a mix of new metal uk pop punk and american pop punk and i quite liked the bits where it felt quite uk pop punky but they were few and far between and the rest was yeah like musically new metal and and, and american pop punk and uh, not necessarily lyrically or, or sorry vocally should i say um he, he didn't mm. necessarily sound like uh like he had a voice for that but um oh, get ready to get panelled for this one and because i don't think he had a voice that would have been strong enough to have done that um he's just got an okay voice that just sings quite generic lyrics in an okay way see I mean, this may be one of those of, for me, because I hold it in like quite a bit of reverence. Um, Wowzers. <laughs> being there of the thing, it, it is, it is a, of a time for me. It is a, like the back end of that last year of school and gaming nights and stuff like that. And then, you know, going to see them live in 2005 and it just being a fucking banging set at, at download that year. You know, I I just love this, and it just I mean, it's one of those right place, right time, and it then being what twenty four years later that it still holds that for me. I mean, it feels like a five out of ten for me, and I can't imagine it would ever have been more than a five out of ten for me. Which five is good? Five's mm. average, isn't it? Average yeah. is good. Yes, Better than a four. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what did you like out there, I think? I don't know. In the comments. Uh, let us know what you think of Mad Council Market. 
and you know I, I preferred a equals i thought a equals was 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 um a uh, head and shoulders above this in what that what that and i know we only listened to one track so a bit unfair to compare one against one but um but no i i think what what they were doing i think they did have a much heavier lean into um i don't even know what we kind of call it i guess like uh dance punky sort of style wasn't it i think they yeah. lent a lot heavier into that and then um musically was kind of heavier throughout whereas yeah just just a token nod to it and then um just something that i like you i could just if it come on spotify i think i'd probably listen to about 30 seconds of it and go yeah that's enough for me um and, and that might have even been too much so as i said down there what you like i think um, as always like subscribe ring the bell Sub any suggestions also down there any other um, yeah any other songs by him that um like watches of this might think um are are better or like maybe more indicative of what they do or something like that then yeah um yeah i'm, I'm always happy even even though it wasn't really my bag i'm always happy to listen to more because sometimes that a singular song just ain't for you is it exactly so as always thank you very much for watching and until next time goodbye <laughs>